Decentralized Finance, or DeFi, aims to use technology to remove intermediaries between parties in a financial transaction. It uses technology to disintermediate centralized models and enable the provisioning of financial services anywhere for anyone. To achieve this, Ethereum becomes an increasingly important network, with features such as increasing scalability and lowering fees for the smart contracts used in such transactions. In the future, DeFi with smart contracts are expected to take over and replace the rails of modern finance. So it should be improved for solving the urgent issues of high transaction fees and a need for scalability in the Ethereum network. The Cartesi project aims to revolutionize smart contract creation and also bring Ethereum smart contracts to the next level and have a big impact on the development of the blockchain industry. Welcome to the Cartesi ecosystem. I'm Tony from KK Technologies. Let's discover the whole story together. The Cartesi project was started in 2018 by four co-founders, Eric de Maura, Augusto Teixeira, Diego Nehab and Colin Stale. The four originally became interested in blockchain due to Augusto Teixeira being friends with IOTA's founder Sergey Popov. Developers have difficulty in building dApps given the currently available blockchain technology generally. Cartesi is developing a solution by allowing developers to code with more mainstream software stacks rather than Solidity. Also another one which will have dApps running all their complex and expensive computations off-chain, removing the prohibitive blockchain costs and the other limitations imposed by blockchain technology. According to Sergey Popo, founder of IOTA, the Cartesi team realized they were tapping into a broader scope, and the project evolved into developing a versatile Layer 2 Linux infrastructure to overcome the problems of scalability, of computation, and infrastructure for blockchain applications. Cartesi is accomplishing this by offering a Linux runtime environment. This has made it the only software-based verifiable off-chain compute system. Three of the main features that recommend the use of Cartesi in DAP development, guaranteed consensus, real-world computations meet the blockchain, portable across multiple blockchains. Let's have a look Cartesi's scalability solutions. Scalability has been a key issue for blockchains in their current evolution, since the lack of scalability has been a limiting factor in the large-scale adoption of dApps. All of the computations done inside the Cartesi node are reproducible and verifiable. Also no need to worry about transaction fees and other blockchain limitations. Local consensus is achieved within the node, with any disputes being handed off to the main chain for resolution. This makes Cartesi an off-chain scalability solution. Cartesi tries to be the first in its unique method to improve scalability. With performing the complex calculations off-chain, to create a trusted node environment, and then resolving any disputes, by providing incentives for verifying the results of the computations. Where can we use Cartesi? Cartesi allows the creation of a vast array of decentralized applications. It greatly expands the possibilities of current technology with benefits such as use of traditional software stacks, easy and resourceful development environment, high TPS, high computational throughput, native financial settlement layer, portability across the most relevant blockchains, and usability conveniences for dApp users regarding to white paper. DeFi, Cartesi applications will be able to read and do complex calculations involving data from multiple sources. This will help interoperability between blockchains and services such as future and insurance markets. Cartesi can reduce the cost of dApps while also increasing the speed. Gaming, developers will be able to use traditional tools and libraries that can be compiled for Linux via Cartesi features. Additionally, game state processing will be free from the computational limits and high fees of blockchains without the need to sacrifice decentralization. Cartesi created a tower defense game which is called Creeps. It is the first fully decentralized tower defense app. And by using decentralized logic the outcome of the game is provably fair. And because Creeps is created on a decentralized Linux platform it is able to use extremely heavy computational loads, which just wouldn't be possible if running the game on-chain. Because the game is being run on a layer 2 solution it is both inexpensive and fast. Machine learning, with the power of Cartesi's decentralized automated verification, creators will be able to create services that allow new dApps to outsource and distribute work. This opens new possibilities for lower-cost AI, developed by outsourced experts and bots. The future of automation, applications will be able to outsource and distribute verifiable work with the power of Cartesi's decentralized verification. Reserve mining and proof-of-stake of Cartesi. 
CTSI, reserve mining was implemented as a means to bootstrap the Nother side chain and provide users with a highly optimized data availability oracle for temporary storage. Also, Cartesi sidechain node operators can stake Cartesi tokens by buying staking rights. These staking rights keep CTSI locked until the end of a staking cycle, after which it pays the owner the locked principal plus a reward in CTSI. Staking rights are acquired through periodic Dutch auctions and give the owner the rights to execute rewarded mining tasks until their expiration date. Miners get a reward of 2900 CTSI per block claimed. On average, each block is created every 30 minutes. Users' funds are safe with while held on staking contract, duly audited by Slomist. No slashing and no risks to the principal due to node malfunction or unavailability. Rewards distributed directly to the user's wallet, eliminating extra ETH transaction fees. The CTSI token. The CTSI token helps the blockchain achieves consensus through proof of stake and is maintained by a network of node operators. Although the sidechain is orders of magnitude cheaper than the underlying main chain, users or dApp developers still need to pay for their transactions to be processed, transmitted and temporarily stored by others. These fees will be paid to node operators with the CTSI The CTSI token has a total supply of 1 billion tokens, the team has held several private sales in the past, raising a total of $800,000 through those private sales. The CTSI token was listed and began trading just after the ICO on April 24, 2020. It opened at more than 200% above the ICO price, trading above 5 cents for the first few days. It quickly dropped under 3 cents within weeks. To sum up, Cartesi appears to be able to fix Ethereum's scaling problem, and in addition to that it makes life easier for most developers by allowing them to code dApps and smart contracts using Linux instead of Solidity. The dApps built using Cartesi are capable of executing computations that are millions of times more intensive than if they were running on-chain. Cartesi is able to run Linux to complete massive amounts of computation and to build scalable dApps. While its current most visible usage is the creation of the Creeps Tower defense game, Cartesi has uses that extend far beyond just gaming. It can be used to improve the performance of any type of app. Investing is not a guaranteed way to make money, so make sure you know the risks and can afford to lose the money. Cryptocurrencies are also highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about Cartesi? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button.